Hey guys, how you doing? This is Andy Hong. Hey guys, I would like to share something with you real quick. This is based on my latest experience with my, well, not my client, but a buyer customer for a co-op in the Great Neck area. So two things to, to, to take away from today's post is a you have to understand the importance of having um, an exclusive right to represent um, contract sign. And then the second thing is understand the law of agency, right? So uh, as we mentioned earlier, this is for a um, co-op in the Great Neck area. And most of us know in these areas, due to the school, uh, school district, a very unique area and have both Great Neck North and Great Neck South school district um, for the address, particular address. So as it turned out, a lot of um, people are willing to pay as a matter of fact, overpaid when they see an opportunity presents itself, right? With that said, so we, <laughs> I, I, I've already told her I would never represent her because I don't represent anyone without having that contract signed. And her and her husband, they're very iffy they're saying that, well, you know, I could just go to open houses, talk to these agents. And then um, right there, and I was like, okay, that's fine. Um, and then the, as it turned out, they were looking at something for uh, I'm not gonna mention the address just to protect the seller and the listing agent. So we're looking at something for like you know four hundred and eighty thousand dollars a couple of months ago, and then they were gung ho. They want to make an offer. I said no. I said it's it's gonna come down. And then surely enough, after a couple of months, uh, she looked at she texted. That's how the conversation started. She was telling me, oh, that unit that um, I looked at the other day, um, it's down to four hundred thousand dollars. So I, I was telling her. I said, what did I tell you? I said that um, you know winter months are coming, and that unit is already set on the market for about eight nine months already. And chances are it's going to sit on the market until next spring. And she was like, "Oh, should I offer?" So <laughs> I reminded her that that classic saying in business: "He who speaks first loses." She's always she always always reaches out to the listing agent or she reaches out to her agent thinking not an agent and then i made it very clear i explained to her the laws of agency i said due to the laws of agencies that agent unless he or she signs a contract with you that most likely that agent still represents it and for the best interest for the seller she goes how could it be i am help you know she's helping me i asked her to find me a place i say yeah but you understand you never sign anything so and i told her okay just tell me exactly what happened so she was like oh yeah well i reached out i told the agent that i really like the place i'll offer this just to see what it is but if the listing agent and then the seller turns it down i'm willing to pay this much more then i'm laughing i said right there you've already lost she said what do you mean i said laws of agency but now that you mention you're willing to pay this much that agent will have to present your highest offer. She goes, no, I made it very clear. I was very specific. I say, start with this and then go to that. I say, yeah, but you don't have an agent. You don't have a, um, a contract signed, which means that this agent still works for the best interest for the seller. But anyway, so back and forth. And then another one came up, uh, also $488,000 a few days ago. She's like, oh, she's gung ho. She's because she wanted to, again, like we talked about, uh, because of that very unique situation where that address, particular address, serves both Great Neck North and Great Neck South School District. So a lot of people are willing to pay extra for that. But I explained to her, you have to understand for a co op, you have all cash you have very strong financial backgrounds use that towards your advantage don't settle so if you <laughs> if you're not clear if you have any questions reach out to us i'll be more than happy reach out to a licensed um experienced licensed realtors we'll be more than happy to sit down and explain to you the ins and outs and guide you through the complexity of this um process i know thanksgiving is coming up tomorrow enjoy spend time with your family friends and loved one i'll talk to you guys later stay well be safe bye now